To create your charge slip template or what some offices refer to as their super bill or tickets, go up in the menu on Master Files, down to Templates, and then click on Charge Slip Templates. You'll notice in the upper left hand corner it has the standard charge slip template highlighted, but until you actually click on it you can't work on it. When you click on it, it'll populate the information over to the right, meaning that it's ready to be worked on. But when I click on mine, not only does it pull it over to the right, but it pulls additional information because I've already been working on my standard charge slip. As you can see, the super bill here is divided into two sections. You have the left side, which is the procedure codes, and the right, the diagnosis codes. And you'll see that I have headings to my charges and also headings to my diagnosis codes. To add a heading, it's fairly simple. Click in the description field and then type in your heading and click on the Save button above it. You'll see it'll add, and if it adds it below, not in the order that you wish it to be, use your up or down arrows, or if it's a mistake, you can always click on the Delete button here and then delete it and then start over. Once you've saved it, add procedure codes underneath it, but you want to make sure you click on the clear procedure code button because if not, you start typing when something's already in here, you're actually overwriting it. So we'll click on the clear button and then either type in the procedure code and hit the tab key or in this case, I'll click on the ellipsis button and then scroll down and find the procedure codes and double click on them and then save them and it'll add them below the heading. And I'll keep repeating those steps until I have all the procedure codes that I'd like in my super bill and then when I'm finished, I can go ahead and skip over to the diagnosis side. And it's the same thing. Type in the diagnosis and click save and use your arrows to move them around. And then of course, always click clear to start adding your diagnosis codes. In any case, yours will be more organized than mine. I'm pulling information for the demonstration here. When you're done, be sure to click on the save button to save both sides, the procedure code and the diagnosis codes. There are some doctor offices that will actually have more than one standard charge slip template. In fact, they want one for each facility. Click clear and they can have their standard charge slip for the office and maybe the next one is the hospital. Simply go ahead and type in the code and then type in whatever name you'd like to give that description for that super bill. Click save and once you click save, it'll pull over to the left hand side but you want to make sure you highlight it so you can actually start working on it. And then type in your headings and everything else like you saw in the previous screen. Once you go ahead and you've added all your uh, procedure codes and diagnosis codes and you saved them, be sure to click the Save button. Once you're finished creating your charge slip template, you can go ahead and start printing them off for all the patients that are scheduled for a particular date. And then when you print them off, the doctor will have them, and when he visits with the patient, he'll go ahead and check the appropriate procedure code or diagnosis code, and then when he's done with the visit, hand them to the front office or the biller for them to start posting charges. And to actually generate those reports or those pieces of paper for the doctor to check them off, it'll be under the reports menu, down to charge slip printing, and then go ahead and click on standard charge slip. Now up here you have your dates, both low and high. I would suggest that you print your charge slip perhaps maybe the night before that morning as patients can cancel or reschedule at the last minute. And so what I'm going to do is select the high and low date, the same date because I only want to print or generate my super bills for that day. And then over here you have the option to select one doctor or you can select all of them for all their schedules. And then finally we have the default charge slip. If there's nothing here you want to click on the ellipsis button and choose the correct one. Most doctor offices will only have a standard, and for me that works, I'll double click on standard. And then once I'm done, click the generate button, and all the patients that are scheduled in advanced MD for that day, November 18th, pull up their charge slips, one for each patient, for example. Zoom in on this a bit. You'll see down below I have one of three pages. When you click the print button, each patient will have their own charge slip. And if you look in the upper left hand corner, first one's Ben Franklin. You can scroll down. The second one is Homer Simpson. Scroll down and finally Arnie Zinni. It also has some information here, date of birth, social security numbers and copays and a lot of additional information.
Also, when you print this out, you'll see these boxes here that the doctor can check them off. And as you can see, you can actually pack in quite a bit and again, um, up to 500. Click on the print button in the upper left hand corner and those three sheets will print out.